So these are my NYX Ranger boots. I've had them for about three months now, and they've been my primary work boot for those three months. I got them in August, it's now November. Um, so these are their Ranger walnut leather, just stock boots. They have the mini Vibram soles. You can see they're dirty because I've been wearing them. Um, didn't clean them up at all for this video. These are, well, they're great boots. Uh, they've really broken in nicely. The, it, the upper's broken first and stopped pinching me, but now the footbeds are really starting to break in nicely and they've, they're really comfortable. So I figured I would talk a little bit about what I had before these. So I started off before this buying this pair of boots. And at first glance, they're nothing. Yeah, they look, they're like a pair of leather boots. These are a pair of Guide Gear boots. They are, I would not recommend getting these. See, the plastic welt is already cracked. I guess it is, probably looks like a real welt. Not that it really matters. Um, the soles are in fine shape. The upper is in fine shape. The liner here, you can't really see, but it's ripped down by the heel. So it makes it uncomfortable to put on, it'll bind up. Yeah, this one's even worse. If you can see that. Down in here, it's all ripped. I got one pair of boots from them. The liner ripped almost immediately. I sent in for a replacement. I got these, and then shortly after they got out of warranty, the liner ripped again. So, these were fairly comfortable boots, but yeah, they just didn't last. I think the first pair of boots broke in less time than it took these to break in. So I decided I wanted to get a nicer pair of boots. So, locally, I bought this pair of Keen Utility shoes, thinking that they might work as boots, as work boots for me. But really, I don't know what material this is, like on the side here, but they got this extra stuff. And I stepped on something not particularly sharp and it just caught on this seam and ripped. And it's got this little piece of foam over a funky seam in there. So these aren't bad boots, but they're more like slightly heavy duty hiking boots than like utility, than like real work boots. Like this material is not particularly strong, so you can get holes in them. They are nice and waterproof and fairly comfortable. But one thing I didn't realize when I got them is how, I mean they feel kind of look rigid but the sole is actually fairly squishy um, or doesn't have that much structure to them. So if you're doing something like standing on a ladder or standing on um, strapping on a roof something like that, these really, you know, it really cuts into your your feet because this is all just foam and a little layer of rubber on them. At least that's what it seems like. I don't know if there's a shank. Does not look like there's a shank from where they've been. So, like I said, I bought these because I wanted to buy a pair of local boots. Um, the other reason I bought them is that the tread pattern looked good. Looked like it wouldn't hold too much stuff. That's the other thing I'm looking for in a pair of boots is. I don't really like the really aggressive sole. I find that it doesn't give you all that much traction, or I don't need that much traction, and it just tracks stuff into the house or into wherever I'm working. So I wanted a slightly less aggressive sole. That's why I went for the mini lugs on here and these. So, so these are okay, but really not what I was looking for. Um, so I probably shouldn't have bought these. And then I wanted to try to get a pair of at least semi-USA made boots. So I got this pair of Carolinas. They come with little American flag thingies that flip around and turn the other way when you wear them for a little bit. And it comes with American flags here and American flags everywhere. And they're made in the USA with global materials. So. I don't know what materials they're getting and what they're making in the USA, 
but there's another boot company that has pretty much this identical upper and a different sole, so they could be just buying this whole upper stitched together from a foreign country, putting on the sole and calling it made in the USA with global materials. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not that um, forthcoming. So, once again, not very aggressive sole. Um, I like, or thought about getting a wedge sole boot, but the foam always tends to get damaged. I step on something hot in it, or something happens to it and it gets cracks in it. So I've had bad luck with um, solid foam soles, and this one has a rubber layer on the outside. Um, so these weren't bad. One thing from the factory, their quality control wasn't great, and these rivets here were super sharp. They were not riveted over all the way, and they really dug into my shins. Like, they made me bleed, and um, so I hammered them over, and they gave me a discount because they're like, yeah, they shouldn't be like that, but still, their quality control wasn't great on them. Um, also, their stitching seems to be weak back here. It's like the stitching is not, like, tight and set down in, like if you look at the nicks, the stitching is pulled tight and it's almost in a groove of leather because it's the stitches are pulling. These, the stitches are right on the surface and on this one, they've all worn out on that heel. So these are about a year and a half old right now. Um, like I said, they're not bad, bad boots, but they're, they're not Great. I'd say this is about as low of quality boots as I would get. These just weren't really worth it. Right now, I have them in my truck as spare boots in case I get somewhere and I'm wearing my sandals and it turns out that I need a pair of boots. So that's what these boots, that's what these boots are good for. Just having emergency boots. Um, one thing I don't like about these boots is how much foam there is. There's a lot of foam here and there's foam on the inside. And while it's comfortable walking on a hard surface, if you wear these out in the woods or on a side hill, that foam is really squishy and you can't lace them up tight enough because your foot squishes down into the foam and it really actually makes your feet surprisingly tired. So these don't work well outdoors um, on, a, on an uneven surface. I mean, they do, obviously you can wear them, but they aren't great. Um, whereas my Knicks, these are very secure on your feet. They're much stiffer. Feet don't move around because they're not squishing into the foam. I am not sure how these will be on walking around on like a concrete floor all day. I haven't done that. I've been doing a bunch of construction work building a shop, an addition on our shop, as you may have seen. Um, and they've been great for that, great for climbing on ladders, great for stuff. Um, the fairly stiff soles have done well. That We did a whole bunch of strapping up on a roof, had to be up on there. And Anyways, they've been really good for that. Um, one thing I have noticed now that the weather's gotten colder, and it's November, is I think these boots are colder than these for when you stand on a hard floor, because these boots have, well, layers of foam, and these have rubber and leather, so these kind of suck the heat out through the bottoms of your feet. At least that's what it feels like, um, which is actually probably good for me in the summertime, because most of the time in the country, the ground is cooler than the air. Might not be the case if you're in a city and concrete and asphalt and whatever else, but I don't live in the concrete jungle. Uh, so these are good. Um, let's see. So these were like about five hundred dollars. These were around two hundred, and I think I think these were around two hundred to like one eighty or something. Which, in hindsight, these were kind of a rip off because they're not really work boots. But I figured I'd try something different. <laughs> and live and learn. As far as the sizing goes for NYX boots, they have a whole thing where you can send in your size and do a whole fitment process. I opted not to do that because I wanted to get my boots quicker and 
So I just measured my feet really carefully, and these fit really well. I mean, I don't know how well a custom fit pair would fit, but I can't imagine there'd be that much difference because these fit really well. Um, partially because if you look at Nick's sizing, these are a 10E, and most of the time you get a choice between like a D or a double E. Like these are a 10, a 2E, or 10 and a half, 2E, and you don't get a choice for an E. You get a normal width or extra wide. And NYX has like every possible width and size and whatever else. So you can really dial in your foot size to these. And I've been happy with the sizing. I mostly wear, I'm wearing my darn tough socks with these and they've been, been great.